authorities at Accra Academy uh, defied a directive from the Okaikoi South Municipal Assembly to pull down the Alema Hall a day after fire gutted part of the building two weeks ago. Now, another fire raised the other part of the dormitory block Tuesday night. Here's a report by Joseph Armstrong. And students were not supposed to use the place. But from all indications, when we responded to the incident yesterday, the place was still being used. Um, this time around, the part of the building that was not bent is where the fire involved and bent towards the, the other part that got bent the last time. Aside this caution from the National Fire Service, management of the school also failed to comply with a directive from the Okainkwe South Municipal Assembly to demolish the building a day after the first fire. Two weeks later, the other part of the hall has also gutted by fire, destroying the belongings of students. Some students said they were studying when they heard blasts from the dormitory section. We were able to douse the fire with three fire tenders. And uh, we observed some few belongings to the uh, few belongings for the student government. Public relations officer of the Ghana National Fire Service, Ellis Oku, said. With three fire tenders, they managed to douse the fire after four hours. He advised school authorities to adhere to fire safety regulations. I don't, I don't even know what to do. So, so where did you sleep last night? In the dining hall. Pardon? In the dining hall. You guys slept in the dining hall? There's yes. no extra uh, hall for you guys? No, no. So how many of you slept in the dining hall? We mean all the Alima Hall students. Efforts to speak with the headmaster of the school was unsuccessful. Students of the hall are stranded with some of their belongings in the open. These trunks you see here are belongings of some students whose hall have been bent down into ashes. For the time being, they have no place to put their staffs and this is where they have to uh, leave their belongings and they are calling on public to come to their aid to help them build at least an ultra modern facility for them to get back into their halls to continue with their various studies. Joseph Armstrong, TV3 News, Accra.